Hi, this is Abdul Halim with you once again, and I would like to welcome you all with an Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, which means may peace be upon you all. And we were there was a request from my channel subscriber that it would be great if I can I can come up with uh, with the bottle line assignment of Logix Pro. So here is the problem statement for bottle line assignment. Uh, perhaps there are, I mean absolutely there are many ways and in first paragraph as the writer is saying that there are many ways how to program or to do up your logic to get the job done so um, yes they, of course I do agree and uh, okay so let's start uh, by writing a program uh, for part one or exercise one tracking the bottles so in part one I hope you can read this all what is required and then you will uh, cap up I mean you will catch up what is the requirement or what the problem statement says that what we have to do in uh, exercise one so what uh, for me what I what I understand that we are asked to track these three parameters using bit shift left instruction sets so exist large and the broken we have to track and we have to see how the data is being changed in in the data table display monitor as you can see it's here so let's open up our logix pro we was i already have written a program in order to save the time for part two then uh, for part one then i'll modify it in front of you i mean uh, i mean live I'll, I'll modify it online so you will see how which is uh, which is a significant I mean which is the main part of um, this assignment so let's go to the bottle line assignment expand it to the right side and now open up the bottle line exercise one yeah there you go for the logic code viewers as you can see here the first rung it's just a uh, a startup run that uh, user has to press a button to start and to stop so this is the arrangement for that and then there I have configured 3 BSL instruction on second run and uh, then we will see how how uh, the data is being changed in the data table so let's switch it to the programming mode by downloading it and take it into the run mode and make it a bit slow so that we can analyze how the data is being shifted to left and how it's being changed so right click over here and go to the table expand it lower, uh, lower side so that we can see okay change it to decimal and oh yeah I did not reset the data okay take it back and reset oh yeah okay close it and then go back to the data table expand it again switch it to decimal radix and you can see it's all set there everything is re initialized with its initial value okay now uh, we have to monitor as we configure first BSL instruction B32 uh, okay so binary file 3 of 2 then 4 then 6 so download the program run it you will see okay so change it to the decimal okay click on start as you can see start moving and it start counting here and you can see it's being shift 3 7 then 15 then 30 then I mean so on 31 and 63 then 127 and so on it will be now this one will become 5 and so on it I mean see if you analyze I mean if you pay your attention you will see this here okay uh, this is all about the first part moving to moving ahead for the second part what it says that we have to we have to modify our program so that the large bottles are diverted to the lower conveyor located on the right hand side of the simulation and this is to be accomplished by utilizing appropriate large bit array to invoke the transfer also 
please ensure that the bottles are not damaged in the process yes we will ensure inshallah if you are successful completing the above you should be well prepared to deal with the task of diverting broken bottle to scrap okay so let's go back and we will modify our code okay take um Examine if open, if close button, place it here and then place one. What is uh, this one? This diverting belt is connected at 025. Right click, edit symbol, diverting conveyor. Sorry, conveyor. Okay, give it a name and okay before that we have to have one thing ready that okay so place this motor should be on the what no what is this this is a divert kit so give it a name mm, divert gate right so divert gate okay and give it a name um, turn it on at the same time divert conveyor okay absolutely right we are okay and change this one b3 the large bottles are can be traced through second bsl instruction which is at uh, which is uh, having a data at file b34 which is 32 bit long b34 of 20 20 okay so it will become 4 okay so because it's the 16 bit each section uh, file and then it will go for next uh, one ball which is b35 at 4 okay so that's all about let's download the program run it okay click start okay let's see whether the small or large bottles are being diverted to the lower conveyor or no pay attention over here there is a large bottle over here at this this should go down and the small bottle should remain on the top conveyor if so then we are done with our part two yeah this is down and this is going straight yeah perfect two oh absolutely fantastic okay now the see this one is no we have to take it out this one and we will modify our program as well that uh, this broken should be scrapped over here so let's modify our code by placing another exam and if close button here and one open instruction here so what is it all about scrap kit so added the symbol give it a name scrap symbol scrap get sorry scrap gate and this should okay scrap are broken bits are I mean broken broken bottle that is being updated in file b36 so read the b36 bit number 8 because it's 8 bits after 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 will be the one that will be checked okay so that's why it's 8 here okay so I think we can give it a try download a program click on run and click on start button oh we have to now because there's a small okay we have to reset if it's if it's oh okay great it start working correctly again okay let's now pay attention over here dears 
viewers that this should be scrapped yes this is going down and then there's a mess here so we have to modify our code stop it go to the debugging mode I mean editing mode and place this this grinder should be grinding it this should be on also so let's place another loop here and place this here and take it here and grab this grinder to be on okay grinder okay we are done we are all set to go download run it start go ahead the larger are being diverted to lower conveyor and smalls are remain on top conveyor as you can see now let's have a left let me have your attention to this yes this is being grinding grinded here as you can see the brokens are being taken out from the main conveyor and diverting being diverted to to the grinder section here yeah so that's all about part one and two I hope you guys have made your understanding you understood that how it's work and you will get it you will see it's beneficial and uh, if so please thumb up and stay tuned for other part of the assignment